Welcome to the Aftermarket SMB. Report with Vegas and Jim, supporting CVS. traders globally and achieving their financial security and freedom. Viv. I love stocks. Today's date, 12 CIBR. December the 10th. And Miss Vegas has a great watch list she wants to share. Short but sweet. EQ, so we're going to talk KOD, TCCO, AUP, Facebook, and I might squeeze in there, Tesla. So TCCO, this is Technical Communications Corp. And uh, this stock was skyrocketing today, uh, 305%. SPRT. A lot of people did swing trade this overnight. So congratulations to the swing traders. But the reason this moved was obviously their earnings was amazing. Uh, uh, it had diluted earnings per share of 56 cents on revenue of $2.75 billion. MYL. Uh, this is fantastic news for this company. ITRM. Uh, Carl Guild Jr. is the president and CEO of the company, TCCO. He did talk about how the company experienced a return to profitability in the year of 2019, obviously. He said that the company completed the delivery of several foreign and domestic contracts for its DSP-9000 and HSE-6000 radio encryption product. i got to research this company a little more uh, because I really am intrigued by their radio encryption products. And KTR. Uh, so definitely, this stock had a beautiful run today. I actually mentioned in the morning based on what I read on the earnings, that this is a $10 stock in my opinion. And boy, that really helped a lot of people hold on to their trade longer. Uh, some people were a little too nervous to hold. I, I mean, I don't blame people for being nervous at all, especially if they're new to trading these low floats. Um, it is nerve wracking sometimes, but certainly float rotation was a big, big play in this. And uh, huge shout out to uh, Six Love. Uh, he really, um, walked people through that trade today in pre-market so huge shout out to him itrm on with that and guiding people and so what can we see on tc so well we did have a year high until today it right Q. around the five oh let me see here it was at 551 and then she had a harsh pullback to 181 as you see right down EXPR. here about oh a couple weeks ago and then today you had the big 500 percent breakout all the way from 181 all the way up to 1049 over 500 percent so we did close at about 300 percent 308 and that's about a six percent gain no that's not six GBR, bucks six dollar gain ednt so we're starting to curl back up here after hours we're at 780 right now we did have a sell signal sent to us earlier today once we hit that high and i always say that lower high is a sell signal and we had a big MDB. knife right after that she did pull back to the consolidated MGTA. area that we had on pre-market at 680 at 725. We also touched down there a couple of times. We did right in here after that big breakout. You see we had that previous high. We touched that solid support. ITRM. And here we are again. We touched down and hit it. And then we consolidated in that little channel. And she had that right before uh, closing run. All the way from this low bottom right here at 680. All the way up to about 940, 931, somewhere in that vicinity. So she did pull back. So there's going to be some chickens getting out of the hen house. But the rooster is going to start calling them to bring this thing back up, maybe. We do have a little low support here at 529. With the third one right here at 624, GBT. 680, and 725. Those are very important to watch. In case this pulls back first KR, thing in the morning and MNST. has a retracement bounce, it could be up about 50%. So keep that in mind. Keep that 50% tagline in mind when you're in this trade, when you pick it up in the morning, if it does decide to dip. CRSP. The resistance that we do need to break is going to be this 877. If we can get past that, we got this double top high. We got this high up here at 940. But I'm going to keep this definitely on my watch list today. I didn't pay much attention to it. Shame on me. I think I could have had a couple good trades out of this because I love to scout. But I had other things going on. WRTCBS on this trade here. I've kind of slapped myself for not paying attention ITRM. to it. I was called out in the room by six Black, pack. CVS. Miss Vegas was always prompt on it too. She got in and out of it a couple times. But TCCO is on our watch list. Next one we're going to talk about is going to be AUPH. Yes. Um, so I want to talk about this one here in particular because. You know, we were watching this here on AUPH. You know, this one here, this is um, uh, Arenia Pharmaceuticals. 
you know, they had, they've been in the news a lot. You know, they had an NDA submission to the FDA in the first half of, uh, that's been filed. SFIX. In the first half of 2020. They also had a conference call last week, uh, you know, to talk about their positive Aurora phase three trial, which actually showed some uh, positive results in the care of lupus nephritis. So um, what we noticed back in November, late November, November 25th, we did notice, Jim can show you here in the picture, um, that there was some money flowing into the actual stock. And we actually CRTS, had some option calls MSI. Here. And we did call them out. And these are the ones for December ASSM, the Eno, We saw some money flowing ABC, in. If you notice the $9 calls, ASLN, uh, some big HEPA, block trades there at $644,000. And then we had also the 750 calls uh, also going in, some money going in there. So we did actually WRTC. the swing trade idea on these two particular contracts. And happy to say congratulations for sure to Miguel. Uh, he was one of the people that took the swing. And I know there was a few Cold. others as well. I just couldn't capture them all. There was just too many to put here. House. But, you know, Miguel mentioned he only bought one for the one for he paid uh, $1.20, so $120. He bought the Abridged, $9 car ever. and he sold that uh, RCKT. for obviously 860 bucks today. So what I really want to explain to you also for options trading you don't really need to sometimes have tons and tons and tons of contracts to make good money. You can make good money sometimes even on one contract and hold it CDMO. as a swing, especially if there was a catalyst. And then here, here it was, and today he got paid. So, you know, ARDX. a small $120 turned into 860 for him. So fantastic profit. So congrats to Miguel. Um, GCAP. Also, I noticed that they did have an offering on the BPFH. actual... Uh, stock, I believe, earlier today. Uh, they did mention ITRN. an offer price for 11 point SPEX. Uh, 1 million shares at the offering price of $15 per share. I do want to mention, though, HRTX. that the company is close to Vero. $300 million in cash once the offering is going to be closed. And it's going to be closing at the money, which is actually a lot. Uh, so, you know, if you're to short this, be very careful of this but they will have a lot of money once this offering actually does close so jim let's hear your thoughts on auph yeah this is the one that kind of makes me stutter a little bit but i mean you have to kind of i mean it did have a good run today off the offering and it so it's i just kind of kind of tongue tongue tied right now on it but we're going to find us a little support right here at 1486 i'm going to bring up the 20 day we had did have a yearly low at 352 and the day she had the big breakout again and she held above broke all the other resistances and ran all the way up to this oh 1849 area it did have a 25 dollar high about five or six days ago five days ago so we're going to pull up the 20 day now take a look at this see if i can find any well let me see if, yeah the 20 day so we had a big spike from this 836 area. So that's going to be my low, low, low support. I'm going to change the time frame on this and go up to 10 day. See if I can find anything else in here, which I can't. I do find the support right here. It's at 1392. So that's CZR. going to be your low support. We don't want it to go no lower than that. We got another support PBTL. right here at 1655. And then I got another one right here, right around the 1723 area. The resistance that we need to break is going to be right here at 1830. So I kind of see it pulling back a little bit. I mean, it, we've got a cup and handle right here. As you see, it could go ahead and hit this double test, this BBS. double top at 1830 and maybe break out to these other highs that we had last week. And that was right around the 1898 area. And then maybe WRTC, right up in here, CGNX. right around 1966. So we're going to kind of look at the pivot point. I think the pivot point channel in this right now is going to be right in here Ma. between the 1655 and the 1723. That, and if it goes below SSI. that 1655, count on it going on moving down a little bit more and getting maybe a retracement bounce. But it's definitely got to hold that $14 area I -I or it's going to fail and fall no. back a lot more. If not, it can go ahead Hack. and break that resistance level that we need to see, and that's going to be at 1830. I'm just got this on watch. I didn't play it, 
This is another one that I missed. But a bridge. life goes on. So break that resistance right at 1830, and we can bring it up to new GBR. highs. Unless it doesn't hold the support level down here at 1655, it can drop down to the, the around the $14 area. That's going to be AUPH, and it was a great call in the room, and good job for the teamwork that we had with WRTC. The last one we're going to talk about AVP, is Vegas. Mu, EMO. Yes. We're going to talk about uh, Facebook. That's right. FB. Okay, so you know what? I kind of been watching Facebook really. ARAV. About, you know the pullback that it's had here, and kind of like that it kept uh, going into the VWAP area. NLTX. And I actually looked at calling a reversal swing trade on VSLR so ITCI we do have a 210 calls expiring Friend. for December the 20th and those I got them for $40 each and those are currently a swing trade that's in play now Facebook you know they were a little bit in the news um, they were telling the uh, US Attorney General that they're really not prepared to get rid of kids their encryption on WhatsApp, because you know when you're using WhatsApp, which by the way, Facebook owns, um, you know, your messages are encrypted. And uh, they're saying that, uh, you know, people's private messages would be less secure if uh, anyone, you know, if they would remove that feature. AMZN. They don't really want to weaken the end-to-end -end encryption across their messaging apps, NLTX. despite the pressure they're getting. They're getting a lot of pressure from the US Attorney General, Bill Barr, and they're also getting pressure in the UK and from Australian leaders. I mean, this is like a worldwide thing. Um, they said that the, you know, their uh, implementation of end-to-end -end encryption on WPG, the WPG LXRX would, PLC. Uh, the reason they want it removed is that they're saying that DBX. You know, this prevents law enforcement agencies from finding illegal activity such as terrorism election meddling of course they throw that GIs. In, and sexual exploitation and children so i can kind of understand no -E 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 want any kind of encryption stt and controlling but uh Apps. unfortunately facebook you know they're they are fighting this and um you know, T -W -O -U. Uh, you know they're going to challenge so Acre, end -to -end w -R -T -C. Uh, does prevent people like governments Mew. security agencies or hackers from viewing or accessing messages or the content between two parties. And it's actually a key feature of WhatsApp. Huh. And so, you know, they're gonna stick to, you know, keeping that encryption active and they don't really want to um, oblige by what they're being told to do. So keep this, you know, keep this, uh, you know, on watch uh, Facebook, but you know, let's hear about the chart, but that's kind of the latest action going on on Facebook. So can you imagine being in Mark Zuckerberg's shoes? I mean, he's getting really a lot of much made publicized uh, scrutiny towards the you know privacy, and uh, they're really pressuring him big time and his company to really uh, get rid of this encryption because they really want to be able to you know I guess see what's going what? on. Um, but anyhow, no privacy for us really, right? So you know, kind of a, a good thing, but not really. So. Jim, let's hear what you have to say. WRTC happening on Facebook. R R the pirate says Zuckerberg. So here NXTC. we are. NXTC. R. We've got the yearly chart. Let's pull that up first. We Pen. do have a little trend right here. I drew this little channel when we talked about it last time. LVGO upward trend, and we did pull back, and we're down to the bottom line of that channel right now. So I'm going to pull up the 20 day RR. ARDX. And that support level was right here at 221, 223. And that 200 runs right in here on that 10 day, 30 minute chart. We did have a nice little breakout on it yesterday. And then we kind of just pulled back and created a symmetrical flag today. And we're getting ready to squeeze on that symmetrical. So I've got it, got in, also got in the calls today. I think mine were, mine were the December 20th, the 210 at 39 cents and just got five contracts of it so those support is going to be this red line of 221 that's right there and the resistance that we're going to have to break is going to be this 20272 if we can 
We can follow it up to this 20369, but we do have a little resistance A-N-R-L. running here too. And so that's it. Basically on Facebook, I'm in it. We're going to watch it tomorrow. It's going to run up on us and we're going to get out and I'm going to take my profit. And that All right. is it KT. for the aftermarket I-P-H-I. report. Uh, also, yes, Jim. here on Twitter, we got a little bird on our website. Link up to that. Fast. We've got 847 VTR. followers now. We're trying to bring them up to the end of the year. And that's I Love Stocks on Twitter. And we also have a couple links here for our Avco, stock tweets, AE, Pinterest, ESTC. and our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. Miss Vegas? Yeah, I just want to say that I will be starting to prov- uh, doing some more other videos uh, separate from the review of the charts that we do. I will be doing a video actually coming up very soon on Chatterflow. As you guys know, I love Chatterflow. I use it a lot for options scanning and to help me detect where is the CRSP. money really going. So I will be doing a video on Cheddar GDT. Flow, so stay tuned for that. That'll be a separate video. And I will Leo. also be doing a little video probably on FinViz, which, as you guys know, is a platform that you can use for free. And they also have some paid features. But I'm going to do a little video kind of to show you guys how you can actually find some stocks to actually, you know, without scanners. And I think that would be really helpful for a lot of people. I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying, do you have other, you know, D-O-C-U. can you help me find some good ideas or how do you find some picks? And it's not always that scanners, you can't always rely on scanners to help you A-E-M-D. find things. Scanners are just sometimes there to give you alerts on volume uh, and breakouts and things like that. But that doesn't mean because a scanner alerts it that the trade is a good one and it's one to take. Uh, if that was that easy, believe me, <laughs> we'd be, we wouldn't even have to think, right, Jim? Yep. So I'll be doing a, f- a couple of videos right. coming up. So stay tuned on some educational content that I'll be producing. And I'm going to be working on a couple other things with Jim as well. So stay tuned on that. And thanks a lot, guys, K-D-M-N. for subscribing, following, and liking. And uh, we hope to see you again tomorrow. Have a great trading day. And reminder, tomorrow is the FOMC meeting at 2 o'clock and then the press conference at 2.30 so maybe some VOD. action first thing in the morning then we'll be nice and quiet for a bit probably and then we'll wait and see what happens with the bomb c with regards to the rates most likely probably stay the same and no change but hey you know what anything's possible AKBA. so on that note have a great night and definitely see you all tomorrow this is the aftermarket report with vegas and jim today's date is december the 10th I 2019 am. and we love stocks I'm